Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Physics Prince. My name is Deepak. I'm going to teach you all nine subjects of physical science in detail. My courses are absolutely free of charges. My courses are going to help the students who are preparing for CSIR, NET, GATE, NT exam, PhD exam, SET exam, PIFR, JEST, IIT JAM, and other exams related to physical science. Okay, so this is the lecture number 23 of mathematical physics in which we are, uh, I'm going to discuss complex analysis. This is the second part of the complex analysis. Okay, first lecture is already completed. So, uh, so, so I'm going to start now. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to start with question uh, which is asked in PIFR, okay. Question P I F R. Okay, this question is asked in P I F R. Question is F X Y F, which is function of X Y, is given one plus X plus Y. Okay, into one uh, plus X minus Y plus A x square minus y square minus 1 plus 2 iota y and this is 1 minus x minus ax minus ax okay this is this is an this is a complex this is this is a complex this is a complex analytic function, complex analytic, complex analytic function, complex analytic function, then value of A you need to find out, okay. So, well, options are number A, 0, option B. 1 option C 1 and option D 2 okay so since uh, we have been given u is given this right so 1 plus x plus y right 1 plus x minus y plus a x square minus y square minus 1 this is the u given okay so we'll simplify it so it is going to be we'll multiply this first so this is going to be 1 plus 1 plus x minus y and then we multiply by x so this is going to be plus x plus x square minus xy plus y plus xy minus y square plus a x square minus a y square minus a okay so this is one now x y and x y will get cancelled okay and uh, y will get cancelled with y okay anything uh, cancelling so this is going to be one plus 2x plus x square okay minus y square plus a x square minus a y square minus a right this is the value of u so we know so it is an analytic function so it means it will satisfy for the remain equation right cr equation so now we'll find out du over dx and we know that uh, the condition d u over dx equal to d v over d y right so and the third second condition is d u over d y equal to minus d v upon dx so so we'll, we are going to find d u over dx d u over dx is going to be differentiation with respect to x so 2 this is 0 2 plus 2 x plus 2 a x right this is other is 0 uh, or other uh, other terms are constant right now we will find v is also given right v is given v is this one uh, 2y 2iy so 2iy and then 1 
वन वन माइनस एक्स माइनस ए एक्स ओके वन माइनस एक्स माइनस ए एक्स वन माइनस एक्स माइनस ए एक्स राइट सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी सो देन सो आई सो वी इज दिस वन राइट आई टर्म इज ऑल्सो सो वाई ओके सो वील फाइंड डी वी ओवर डी वाई राइट सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी टू एंड माइनस टू एक्स माइनस टू ए एक्स राइट दिस इज द वैल्यू सो नाउ वी नो दी रिमेन इक्वेशन सी आर इक्वेशन दैट इज सी आर इक्वेशन फॉर बींग एनालिटिक दिस मीन्स Fauci equation, Fauci remain equation must be satisfied, right? So this, that is uh, del x, that is del v over del x equal to del uh, my apologies, so del u over del x, del u over del x equal to del v over del y and del v over del y equal to minus del v over del x. So for first equation is going to be This is so. This one del u over del u over del x is is two plus two x plus two a x, right? So this is going to be two plus two x plus two a x, and del v over del y is two minus two x minus two a x, right? So two two will get cancelled, and two will come here, and this this is going to come here. So this is going to be four x equal to four x, four x and four x will get Cancelled. The value of a equal to one. Something mistake we have done. This is like this. Okay, so two four we have taken this side, right? So this is minus guys, minus. So this is minus one. Okay, so value of a is minus one. So which option is matching? B. Option number B is the correct answer, guys. Okay. So this is the uh, TIFR question which is asked, and I have solved it for you. Meanwhile, just let me check whether I'm audible or not. Hmm. Something mistake we have done. This is like this. Okay, so two four we have taken this side, right? So two yes, minus this side or minus. So this is minus one. Okay. Okay, so value of A is minus one. So which option is matching? So okay, so I'm going to proceed further. Okay, next. Next is. This is a uh, Fauci a uh, remain equation in. Uh, Uh, polar coordinate system. Okay, so C R equation, C R equation, C R equation in polar coordinate system. Polar, polar coordinate system. Okay. Cauchy Riemann equation in Cauchy Riemann equation, Cauchy Riemann equation in polar coordinate system. Okay, so this uh, we know that uh, this one is del v del u over del r equal to one upon r del v over del theta. This is the first condition. And second is del u over del theta equal to minus r del v over del r. Okay, these are the uh, Cauchy uh, Riemann equation in uh, Cauchy Riemann equation in polar coordinate system. Okay, so del u over del r equal to one upon r del v over del theta. Okay, and uh, and del u over del theta is going to be equal to minus r del v over del r. Okay. now harmonic function harmonic function harmonic functions are this one guys del square u del laplace square u 
use the real part of the complex number okay del square u is equal to del square uh, u equal to 0 that implies uh, del square u right so this is del square u upon del x square plus del square u upon del y square equal to 0 second is these are called uh, harmonic functions okay uh, del square v equal to 0 that implies del square v upon del x plus del square v upon del y del square v upon del x square upon del uh, del square v upon del y square equal to 0 okay so these are the uh, harmonic functions okay <coughs> okay now power series expansion power series power series expansion power series expansion okay so this is uh, if if function if function fz if function if function fz is analytic function fz is analytic analytic at z equal to z naught at z equal to z zero okay then k function is analytic at z equal to z zero right in that case fz is going to be we can expand fz into power series so this is n equal to zero to infinity n equal to zero to infinity and this is uh, k n z minus z naught to the power n okay so we can write like this so if fz is analytic at z equal to z naught then fz is going to be uh, sigma n equal to 0 to infinity a n z minus z 0 to the power n okay so or we can write it like a naught plus a 1 z minus z naught plus a 2 z minus z naught square plus so on okay now very important this is radius of convergence okay Questions are asked in net, okay. So, radius of convergence. How to find radius of convergence, okay? Radius of convergence. Radius of convergence. So, radius of convergence, in short, we can write ROC, okay. ROC. And this is uh, this R, this radius of convergence R is limit x tends to infinity or my apology that is n tends to infinity n tends to infinity okay and this is mod a n upon a n plus 1 okay this is mod mod a n plus uh, a n upon mod a n upon a n plus 1 okay well so i will solve question then it will clear your doubt so for example so this one question is fz is given sigma n equal to 0 to infinity n equal to 0 to infinity n plus 1 upon n plus 2 and n plus 3 okay and z to the power n so this is the function given and we need to find out roc that is radius of convergence okay we need to find so how we are going to find that we have a n given right a n is n plus 1 upon n plus 2 into n plus 3 right so now we will find out a n plus 1 a n plus 1 is going to be n in place of n we will write n plus 1 plus 1 upon n plus 1 uh, plus 2 into n plus 1 plus 3 okay so this value is going to be uh, n plus uh, n plus 3 n plus 2 right this is n plus 2 yeah n plus 2 upon n plus uh, 3 and n plus 4 n plus 3 and n plus 4 okay so this 
differences the value. Okay, so now we know the formula for the radius of convergence, right? So this is going to be this one, our radius of convergence that is radius r equal to limit n tends to infinity a n upon a n plus 1 mod, right? So this is going to be limit n tends to infinity a n value is uh, n plus 1 upon n plus 2 and n plus 3 this is upon n plus 2 n plus uh, 3 and n plus 4 this is mod right so this is going to be limit n tends to infinity so mod will take n common here so n common this is going to be 1 upon 1 plus n okay upon here we'll take n common so this is going to be 1 plus uh, 2 upon n here we'll take n common so, so uh, 1 plus 3 upon n right upon here we'll take n common n is to 1 plus 2 by n right upon here we'll take common so n common uh, 1 plus 3 by n 1 plus 3 by n plus n common 1 plus 4 by n right mod 1 plus 4 by n now in place of n we'll uh, put infinity right so this is infinity going to be 0 in for 2 by infinity 3 by infinity this is going to be 0 so the value is going to be r value is going to be 1 plus 0 into 1 plus 0 because this is infinity right and again n into uh, n and get cancelled right okay so these n got cancelled so this n will get cancelled with this uh, this n get cancelled this n get cancelled with this this n get cancelled with this okay so 1 plus 0 into 1 plus 0 upon 1 upon 1 plus 0 into 1 plus 0 right so this value is going to be 1 so radius of convergence equal to 1 very simple right next question so the next question is uh, fx is given fz is given sigma n equal to 0 to infinity 2n plus 1 into 4n plus 1 okay upon 2n plus 1 into 2n plus 3 z to the power n okay so we have to find out radius of convergence okay radius of convergence how we are going to solve it very simple again we know radius of convergence equal to limit n tends to infinity right uh, a n of mod mod a n upon a n plus 1 right I will write directly now it is simple question a n plus 1 mod ok so this is going to be we will put the value so this is uh, directly I am going to write so this is going to be the a n value is going to be limit n tends to infinity mod a n value is 2 n plus 1 into 4 n plus 1 upon 2 n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 okay upon here will 2 n plus we will put the value of n in uh, n a n plus 1 instead of n will we'll put n right so this is going to be n plus 3 uh, that is uh, 2 n plus 3 and 4n plus 5 okay upon 2n plus 4 2n plus 4 okay and this is going to be 
टू एन प्लस फाइव ओके वेल नाउ विल पुट द वैल्यू सो विल टेक एन कॉमन एंड देन दिस वैल्यू इज गोइंग टू आर ओसी इज गोइंग टू बी रेडियस ऑफ कन्वर्जेंस इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी सिंपल टू विल रिमेन हियर बिकॉज एन विल टेक कॉमन so this 2 4 here is going to be remain 4 upon 2 into uh, 2 into 2 upon 2 into 4 upon 2 into 2 so this value is 1 so radius of convergence is 1 right simple procedure uh, what i have done here taken r common uh, sorry n common cancel and this right very simple thing next question नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज आस्क इन 2016 CSIR नेट ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आस्क इन CSIR नेट CSIR नेट 2016 एंड दिस इज जून क्वेश्चन ओके जून 2016 क्वेश्चन एंड क्वेश्चन इज एंड दिस इज द क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू रेडियस ऑफ कन्वर्जेंस ओके सो question is fx is given fx is given that is 1 upon cos hyperbolic x okay and you need to find out radius of convergence okay uh, around x equal to 0 okay you need to find out radius of convergence around x equal to 0 okay so how you are going to find the options are given ऑप्शंस आर नंबर ए इनफिनिटी नंबर बी फाइव बाई टू नंबर सी फाइव एंड नंबर डी वन नंबर डी वन ओके सो हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड इट ओके सो वी हैव कॉस हाइपरबोलिक कॉस हाइपरबोलिक एक्स वी नो ई टू दी पावर एक्स प्लस ई टू दी पावर माइनस एक्स By two, this is cos hyperbolic at x. Okay, so then uh, and so one upon cos hyperbolic x is going to be that is f x right? F x is going to be or f z we write. So we can write this as f z. Okay, complex in complex plane. So this is cos hyperbolic z is going to be e to the power z minus e to the power z and f z is going to be cos hyperbolic e to the power z right? This is given so we can write like this e to the power z plus e to the power minus z. Okay. So this is the function. So now <coughs> we can write like this. So for poles, right? For poles, uh, so or we'll simplify it further. So f z is going to be two uh, e to the power z. We we have multiplied by uh, e and divide by e. Okay, so two e z upon e to the power two z minus e to the power z e to the power minus z is equal to one plus one. Okay, so this is the f z value. Okay, so we have multiplied by e to the power z and divided by e to the power z. That's why we got this. Okay, so now for pool <coughs> we know. Uh, this is the uh, this should be zero, right? So e to the power two z that implies e to the power two z plus one equal to zero, and that implies e to the power two z equal to minus one. Here we know value of minus one means e to the power uh, iota two n plus one pi. Okay, <coughs> this is the value or value of one equal to e to the power iota in, in terms of i uh, e to the power. Okay. 2n, 2n pi. Okay, so these are the values of 1 and minus 1. You need to note down, and you must know it. Okay. So here, instead of minus 1, we can write this. So this is going to be e to the power 2z equal to e to the power iota 2n plus 1 pi. Okay, this implies 2z value is going to be iota 2n plus 1 pi. Okay. So then, value of z is going to be uh, iota two n plus one 
pi by 2 okay so from here for n equal to 0 for n equal to 0 uh, i'm writing here for n equal to 0 z is going to be i pi o i pi by 2 because uh, this one uh, n equal to 0 right so i pi by 2 and so now we'll find mod z mod z value is pi by 2 right mod z value of pi by 2 so that is the that is mod z right and that is the radius of convergence radius of convergence so radius of convergence is mod z that is pi by 2 okay so which option is matching option b okay so if this question is asked in 2015 very simple just we have to convert this cos hyperbolic x right and uh, then uh, that uh, denominator, denominator is going to be 0 and then you will find the value of z and then mod z that is the radius of convergence well now Taylor series we are going to Taylor series Taylor series okay Taylor series, Taylor series expansion, expansion, Taylor series expansion, okay. So, what is Taylor series expansion? This is also simple, okay. So, So, if fz, so fz is analytic, analytic, fz is analytic at all points, at all points, and or at all points inside, at all point inside, inside a circle, inside, inside a circle fz is analytic at all point inside a circle c okay having circle c having center having center at z equal to a and radius r and radius r in that case fz is going to be so fz is analytic at all point inside c circle okay having center at z equal to a and radius r then fz is going to be f a plus f dash a by factorial f dash a just f dash a on factorial one okay plus and this is uh, into z minus a z minus a okay plus f double f, f, f double dash a upon 2 factorial z minus z naught whole square plus f triple dash upon uh, f triple dash a upon 3 factorial z minus z naught whole cube plus so on okay plus so on so and this is like this expansion okay this is the circle and center is at z equal to z naught this is r and this function is analytic at all point inside this circle okay so this is the formula for taylor series guys very important we will solve question then it will clear your doubt okay so question is Question is so question is this one fx fx equal to sin x okay fx equal to sin x expand it x expand it expand it about x equal to pi by six using using Taylor series Taylor's expansion 
टेलर सीरीज एक्सपेंशन टेलर सीरीज एक्सपेंशन ओके तो एफ एक्स इज गिवन वी नीड टू एक्सपेंड दिस अबाउट एक्स इक्वल टू फाइव बाई सिक्स यूजिंग टेलर सीरीज एक्सपेंशन ओके वेरी सिंपल थिंक वी नो एफ जेड अब वी कैन डायरेक्टली राइट एफ एक्स इक्वल टू साइन एक्स राइट तो एफ एक्स इज गोइंग टू बी विल राइट साइन एफ ए सो दैट फर्स्ट आई राइट फॉर्मूला सो फॉर्मूला इज एफ ए प्लस एफ डैश ए एक्स माइनस फाइव बाई सिक्स प्लस एफ डबल डैश ए बाई टू फैक्टोरियल एक्स माइनस फाइव बाई सिक्स प्लस राइट तो एफ एक्स इज गोइंग टू बी एफ ए मीन साइन एक्स साइन एक्स एंड देन विल पुट फाइव बाई सिक्स ओके साइन साइन फाइव बाई सिक्स साइन फाइव बाई सिक्स प्लस एफ डैश ए साइन एक्स मीन्स कॉस डिफ्रेंशिएशन ऑफ कॉस 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 फाइव बाई सिक्स एक्स माइनस फाइव बाई सिक्स प्लस एफ डबल डैश ए कॉस डिफ्रेंशिएशन ऑफ कॉस इज माइनस साइन माइनस साइन फाइव बाई सिक्स इंटू एक्स माइनस फाइव बाई सिक्स होल स्क्वायर ओके दिस होल स्क्वायर राइट प्लस विल सॉल्व इट सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी साइन फाइव बाई टू इज वन बाई टू प्लस कॉस फाइव बाई टू इज रूट थ्री बाई टू सो रूट थ्री बाई टू फाइव माइनस एक्स माइनस फाइव बाई एक्स माइनस फाइव बाई सिक्स एक्स माइनस फाइव बाई सिक्स माइनस साइन फाइव बाई सिक्स वैल्यू इज माइनस वन बाई टू एंड वन बाई टू एंड दिस इज अपॉन टू फैक्टोरियल राइट टू फैक्टोरियल फोर सो टू इंटू वन सो वन बाई टू इज इक्वल टू वन बाई फोर x minus pi by six whole square plus one. Okay, so this is the Taylor ex, uh, series expansion, right, guys? Very simple. Now I'm going to solve question which is asked in 2012 December CSIR net. Okay. So question. This is asked in very good question. December 2012. C S I R net, C S I R net, okay question. The question is, f x is given. F x is given. Ln cos, Ln cos hyperbolic x, okay. So expand it, expand it. About x equal to zero, okay, and options are given. This is minus one by two x square plus one by twelve x to the power four. Option B is one by two x square minus one by twelve x to the power four plus on. Option C is. Uh, Minus one by two x square plus one by six x to the power four plus so on. And option D is one by two x square plus one by six x to the power four plus so on. Okay, so these are the options. A uh, very good question. I'm going to solve it. So we can write. Since f x is given, that is ln cos hyperbolic x, right? So, so now we can we'll find f a z equal to zero, right? f a is going to be ln cos zero. Cos zero is one, right? So cos hyperbolic zero, right? So this is going to be ln one, and this value is zero. So f a is zero. Now we'll find f double f dash a f dash a. Okay, so what is f dash a? F dash a means we'll uh, differentiate this one. So one upon cos hyperbolic x and sine uh, integration or uh, differentiation of cos hyperbolic x is 
sin hyperbolic acid right because we will uh, will uh, will take will consider cos hyperbolic acid equal to p so 1 upon p then integration of right? yeah, sorry differentiation of p so this is 10 hyperbolic 10 hyperbolic x 10 hyperbolic x and uh, this value is going to be 0 10 uh, then uh, x equal to 0 right 10 x is 0 so 0 this value is 0 now f double dash a f double dash a will find f double dash a again will integration 10 uh, 10 hyperbolic x so this is going to be 10 hyperbolic x equal to sec square hyperbolic x right and uh, so x equal to 0 will put so this is sec 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 hyperbolic square 0 that is going to be 1 okay this value is 1 now we will find f triple dash a, uh, a right so this is going to be 2 sec hyperbolic x 10 hyperbolic x again uh, at x equal to 0 10 x 0 that is going to be 0 now we will find f 4 times dash a right so this is going to be will differentiate it dif will differentiate this right so this one 2 sec square so this is uh, we have done some mistake this is minus will be also there because sec sec hyper the differential of sec x uh, sec hyperbolic x equal to minus sec x hyper sec hyperbolic x 10x right that's why this one uh, differentiate this again so this is 2 uh, this is going to be sec sec square hyperbolic x into sec square hyperbolic x plus minus 2 sec square hyperbolic x and 10 square hyperbolic x okay this is the differentiation and then uh, will x equal to 0 this value is going to be 0 so this is going to be uh, minus 2 and this is sec to the power 4 is 1 right so this is going to be minus 2 so this implies right so this is just a differentiation you need to do okay okay so now uh, so we can uh, now plus f double dash a uh, that x is 0 right z, uh, x is 0 so z minus x means x minus uh, 0 right this is just x plus f triple dash a upon 3 factorial x square plus f triple dash a upon 3 factorial x cube plus f 4 times dash a upon 4 factorial x 4 plus 1 right so uh, this is 0 plus this is uh, uh, f double dash a is 1 right so this is x okay f double dash a let me check f dash a is also 0 so this is 0 right plus this value is this value is 1 right so so 1 by 2 x square this is also 0 and this is uh, minus 2 so minus 2 on 4, 4, 4 factorial and that we cancel uh, 2 will cancel 4 factorial then this is going to be 1 by 2 x to the power 4 plus 1 right so series is 1 by 2 x square minus 1 by 12 x to the power 4 plus 1 so which is uh, which option is correct option b option b is correct right minus x to the power 4 right so this is the question which is asked in net 2012 okay next question next question is this is Lorentz series, okay? Lorentz series expansion. L O R E N. Lorentz. Lorentz.
Laurent series expansion. Laurent series expansion. Okay. So this is if f z is an analytic function and analytic function analytic analytic function f z is an analytic function uh, in an in an annular annular region okay in an annular region in an annular region annular region means ring shaped region okay annular region with center with center with center a and between radius r1 and r2 okay so fz is an analytic function analytic function in an annular region with center a between a radius uh, r1 and r2 okay so this is talking about like this okay i will make it like that so this is the annular region okay ring shaped region this is r and r1 this is r2 okay this is r2 and this is r1 okay center is at uh, z equal to a okay this is a okay so if okay uh, z minus a to the power n upon bn a and bn are constant okay bn okay right so this is the Lorentz series. Okay, a Lorentz series expan uh, series expansion. Okay, if fz is an analytic function in annular region with center a between the radius this r1 and r2, right? This uh, radius we are talking about. Then function f uh, the uh, the the series expansion of fz is sigma n equal to zero to infinity a n z minus a to the power n plus sigma n equal to one to infinity. Now I'll solve the question then it will be more uh, clearer to you okay so fz is given fz is given 1 upon z minus 2 minus 1 upon z minus 1 okay so find the lorentz series expansion okay find lorentz series lorentz expansion lorentz series expansion for mod z is between 1 to 2 okay mod z is between 1 to 2 that is z is greater than 1 and z is less than 2 okay so how to find it so fz is going okay and so here very important point i'll uh, write for you uh, you need to note down and uh, memorize it if you you get such type of question right take greater value common out okay take greater value common take greater value common out means uh, if if we talk about this function right so uh, here uh, in z and 2 2 is greater right because z is between 1 and 2 so 2 we will take common here z and 1 because z is less than 1 right z is greater so we'll take z common okay so this is going to be fz equal to the value of fz is going to be fz is we can write like this uh, one, minus 1 by 2 uh, 1 minus 1 uh, 1 minus z inverse 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus z 1 minus 1 upon z inverse right so we'll open it so fz is going to be minus 1 by 2 1 plus z square by 2 sorry uh, 1 plus z by 2 then z square by 2 z is means this 
या z स्क्वायर बाय फोर प्लस वन राइट माइनस वन अपॉन z दिस इज माइनस फाइव माइनस वन अपॉन z दिस इज वन प्लस वन अपॉन z प्लस वन अपॉन z स्क्वायर z इनटू माइनस वन बाय टू ओके माइनस वन बाय टू माइनस z by four minus z square by eight. Okay, this is two factorial. Uh, z z square by eight plus one, and then this is minus one by one by z plus uh, one by z square. This is minus five. Minus minus. One by z cube minus one. Okay, so so this is the one. So this is the answer, guys. Well, next question. Next question is. It is asked in CSI uh, CSIR net question. Okay, very good question. CSIR net. Okay. Question is: Lorentz series expansion. Lorentz. Lorentz series. Lorentz series expansion. Expansion. Lorentz series expansion about z equal to zero. Okay. As z is given, that is e to the power z plus e to the power one by z. Okay, uh, about x equal to zero and the right. We need to find out options are sigma n equal to zero to infinity, z n upon n factorial for all mod z greater equal to infinity or greater more. Mod z less equal to infinity. Option B is sigma n equal to zero to infinity. Z n plus one upon z n one upon n factorial. Okay, and uh, mod z is between zero to infinity. Option C is sigma n equal to zero to infinity. Z n plus one upon z n. One upon n factorial only, only if z is between mod z is between zero to one. Okay, so this is what and this one and these are the options. Okay, We have given e z. E z is means one plus z plus z square by two factorial plus z cube by three factorial plus one. Right? This we know. And e to the power one upon z we know that is one plus one upon uh, one upon two factorial z square. Plus one upon three factorial z cube plus so on. Right. So this is now we can we can see z z equal to for e z right. If z equal to infinity right. If value of z is infinity, then uh, this value is going to be infinity right. So uh, z equal to infinity. This e z is not defined. Not defined. Similarly. Uh, e to the power for e to the power one 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 upon z, okay, z equal to zero. Z equal to zero is not defined. So z equal to zero, this is going to give infinity value. For for this uh, term, z equal to zero is not defined. For this term, z equal to infinity is. Uh, this uh, this term, z equal to infinity is not defined, right? So. Plus one plus one upon z 
plus 1 upon 2 factorial z square plus 1 right we can write like this so this value is going to be so we can write as z or we can combine this so this is going to be uh, uh, plus the second term we can write n equal to 0 to infinity okay 1 upon z 1 upon z to the power n 1 upon z to the power n into 1 upon n factorial right we can write so this is going to be 10 plus 1 upon z n right into 1 upon n factorial we can write and there is a condition that uh, mod z must be between 0 to infinity because at infinity at 0 those are undefined not defined right so which option is matching option option b is the correct option this one okay so well this is about Lorentz series uh, taylor series and uh, this is the second part of complex analysis okay so so guys uh, before ending the uh, class i would request everyone who haven't subscribed my channel yet please subscribe my channel and watch my free live lectures which are going to help you to 